Hi all, welcome back to a new episode of Embedded Brew. So today we are going to work on a very interesting and new gadget. Well, we have worked with LCD displays, we have already worked with OLED displays, but now we are going to work on this. So this is a dot matrix display and as you can see these are some white dots. These are the LED lights that we can control using the Arduino and we can create anything like some emoji, we want to create some animation, we want to show some value or any game, we can create anything with this small device. So without any delay, let's kick off today's video. So here I have a dot matrix display and this is the main display unit. As you can see here there are 8 rows and 8 columns. So this is a 8 cross 8 matrix display. To control this matrix we need a driver. So here I have the dot matrix display driver. So here you can see this is the driver. And as you can see in the back side of the LED there are some pins. And we need to connect all these 8 pins and 8 pins to these two sides. And these are the two sides to control the you know, clock, data, VCC, ground, all that thing. So for that we have all these uh, header pins. I need to solder all this. So let's do the soldering now. So now it is properly soldered with the wood. So now what we have to do? We need this LED and we will connect it here. Now when we have to work with the LED, we need to connect the pins, the wires to these all pins and now we are done. So our display unit is ok and we have soldered it with this driver and everything is fine. So now we need our Arduino Nano and we need to connect this display with the Nano and for that I have already given the circuit diagram. You need to connect all these pins with the Nano with some jumper wires. You can follow the circuit given in our website and connect the display with the Nano. So now we are done with the circuit diagram. So now let me connect it to our laptop and open the Arduino ID. And meanwhile I can turn this light off so that we can see the display clearly. So now go to the Arduino ID and here you can search for the my libraries and here search for LED control. And here you can see the first one I have already installed here. This is a library for Max 7219 and 7221 LED display drivers. So this is the library we need for this one. So here in the code we have uh, designed a smiley face and sad face or happy face or sad face as you can see here. So initially we have included the LED control dot is library. After that we have declared the pins here. So we have declared the pin number 12. Oh, this is something different. This is going to be 11 and this is going to be 12. So the data in pin we have collected to the pin digital pin 12. Then clock pin to digital pin 11 and CS pin to digital pin 10. This number 1 represents that we are using only one dot matrix display. If we are using 2, 3, 4 like in a cascaded way then you can change here according to the uh, dot matrix display that you have connected. After that here we have this byte happy face. So this is actually a bitmap we have created for the smiley face emoji. What is a bitmap if you don't know then I will suggest you that after this video you can go and watch how we work with the OLED to create the images on the OLED. In there I have clearly mentioned what is a bitmap, how to create it and all these things are already there. So you can check out this video here. Then after the happy face we have another bitmap for the sad face here. So after that we have in the void setup part. Here you can see LC dot shutdown. This will power on your um, dot matrix display. Then here is the intensity setup and here the display will be cleared. After that in the void loop section display happy face then with a delay of 1 second display sad face. So this is something like happy face sad face. It will keep changing and create an animation like effect. 
After that, you can see the display face function. This will take the byte from the map. The it, it will basically draw the bit map on the display. Now go to board and choose your board. Here I have the Arduino Nano on COM5. Now click on upload. As you can see, the okay uh, done come. Okay, done uploading. Now as you can see here. Uh, you can notice on the display there is a happy face and sad face that is keep changing see that keeps changing in every one second so that's how we have created animation like effect on the dot matrix display now let's see how can we scroll some text here so for that open up the second code you can download the code circuit diagram everything from our website the link is already given in the description below you can check out that okay so here you can see we need two more libraries so go to the library manager and here search for md underscore max and here you can see md max 7 to double x this i have already installed and another one is md parola this one is already installed. You need to install two these libraries for the text effect. So as you can see here, initially we have declared the two libraries as well SPI library. Then here we have defined the different pins and this, this is the number of displays as you can see here. After that, here is the uh, object so that you can show something on the display. Then in the void setup part, you can see the display begin, then intensity, then display clear. After that display scroll. So whatever the text we are going to add here, that will be scrolled. And in the void loop part, you can see display dot display animate. That means whatever we are writing, whatever text we have given that will be animated here. So if you have seen my story on Instagram, you can check out that I have already created this one uh, during the test process. And if you are not following me, you can follow me there. So now let's change the text. So what should we write? Hey all, subscribe. Okay, now this is done. Now click on the upload button. I think everything is fine and it will be uploaded very soon. Done compiling, uploading. See, this is taking almost 64% of the storage. Ah, you can see the text now. Hey all, subscribe. That's how we are creating some scrolling effect. Right now I have only one dot matrix display. That's why the text are looking very small. But in case of um, cascaded type of you know like if we will connect three four displays with this then the text will be clearly visible for now i think this is enough we will keep working with this one i have a very interesting project idea with this so stay tuned that's all about our today's video if you find this tutorial helpful then don't forget to hit on that like button check out the full blog on our website and if you have any doubts, any comments, the comment section is all yours. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so that whenever I will upload a new video, you can get the instant notification. See you in the next one. Till then, be cool, work smart.